Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If you are a developer, I think you are going to like this project, Pocket Base. This project is an open source backend you can run as a simple single file app. What it does is, it gives you a unified platform to have a fast SQLite database where you can store data. You can have real-time data updates just like Firebase and it also provides you out-of-the-box user authentication and management. It also gives you a very elementary level file storage plus you get an admin web dashboard to manage your data visually. It is easy to use REST API which is primarily web endpoints to talk to your front-end or scripts. So what is the use case? If you are a developer, you can use it as a backend for web or mobile projects. You don't have to really worry about a lot of different technologies. You have this single file where everything is embedded. You can use this pocket base for prototyping apps quickly and you can easily use it to manage data through an admin panel. You really don't need any Node.js, Go, anything else to use pocket base as a backend. Just download the library binary and then run it. You can use it on various operating systems. In order to get started from their GitHub repo, just go to releases on the right hand side and then when you click on releases, you will see that it is available for all of these operating systems including the Windows one. Just download that zip file as per your operating system and then get started. So let me install it locally now and we will see how it works. I already have downloaded it for my operating system. My operating system is this Ubuntu 22.04 courtesy Mast Compute. If you are also looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very very affordable prices you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPU. So please do check them out. So they are sponsoring this VM and I already have, I believe, downloaded that zip file. There you go, the second last file. I'm just going to unzip it. You will do the same on other operating systems. And it should have created a directory. Let me quickly check. Okay, that is fine so make sure that after you have unzipped it you have this directory pocket and then sim uh, simply go into that directory once you're in that directory all you need to do is to run this command pocket base serve and it is going to start it on your local system in your local browser i haven't installed any prerequisites or anything else it has started it on my local host at port 8090 the first thing you need to do is to just create a super user account so just type in your email and give it password and then click on create your super user and login so let me do that now if you look at this interface um, this is actually quite simple and i'm just going to make it bigger so that we would be able to also show what is happening so the major thing is that this is primarily a data storage where you have these collections if you are coming from the RDBMS um, background, you can just think of them, the collection as database tables. Um, you can create a new collection, like you can just say something uh, on the, <clears throat> sorry, on the line of notes, maybe something like that, anything random. This is the type is base, or you could just uh, get it from any other one, but I'm just going to go base. And then these are the few fields which you can check, you can add new field of the type plain text you can name it uh, something like maybe content or something and then that's it click on create you can even create index on top of these columns and then you can add a new records this is uh, so just if you leave it empty it will it is going to just use it auto generate i believe that might be used as some sort of primary key or that is uh, something uh, for your referential integrity so i'm just giving it the new value my test note and so i have created my new collection with one uh, test record now if you want to see how to use it just click on this api preview and this is how you can use this 
whole new collection the notes one as you can see here in javascript and for the dart you can use it with this code so it also provides you that and there is whole i believe um schema level stuff which you can check and these are the responses from http so you can already imagine if you have developed these sort of things locally for prototyping how much pain that is and this pocket paste removes a lot of that pain so i'm really really um very impressed by this by the way and then even not only these um CRUD operations are there in database you can do batch operations and also some real-time api stuff also you can uh, change this edit the collection from here you can refresh it if you are also streaming some records into it plus you can see that here on the left hand side there is settings this is also quite cool if you want to change the ip and port for example you want to serve it on your net network you can also do so now um, you can also do rate limiting if you are behind proxy uh, or reverse proxy or that sort of stuff you can change it and set it out you can also use any batch api if you like as i mentioned earlier you can send some of the mails you can uh, set up your smtp server just click here and then give your smtp which is simple mail transfer protocol and there are a lot of other options normally by default it uses your local file system for file storage but you can even go with the s3 s3 is um, the aws hyperscalers storage option it's an object store where you need to provide the s3 arn or endpoint which is the amazon resource number your bucket name and of course these resources stay in reg region and then your aws access key and secret so this is where i'm a bit apprehensive i think they should be using role-based access instead of access key and secret because this could be a uh, bit of a security issue anyway and then uh, this uh, this is just for you know path style addressing you can see the example i just hover around it also you can specify your backups if you like uh, which is always a good idea there are a lot of backup options even you can enable auto backups you can redirect them to s3 and then you can even have some cron jobs so cron jobs are the schedule jobs or the schedule tasks in windows where um, these jobs run on a specific period of time with a specified frequency you can see that this is a specific cron schedule where you know the jobs run every minute every day something like that you specify it in this format and then it runs accordingly you can even manually run it and then finally you can export and import your collection so i hope that you're getting the point that if you are a developer then i think this is a huge blessing before i let you go let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you for watching.